Hello, my name is Charles Hussifer, and today I'll be covering Configuring Threat Analyzer 6 Virtual Appliance Part 1. Getting started. First, we'll need access and permissions to modify or run virtual machines, sufficient resources available to support the virtual appliance, as well as the current version of Threat Analyzer Virtual Appliance OVA deployed. For more information, please see the Threat Analyzer Virtual Appliance Addendum. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll want to go ahead and log in to the ESX server. Go ahead and enter our username and password. Navigate to the Threat Analyzer Virtual Server Appliance. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Browse through our settings. All of these options are set by default and they should be sufficient. And then lastly, we'll want to assign a virtual interface to the Thread Analyzer Virtual Server. So we can go ahead and do that now. It's important to keep in mind that whatever network you select, you'll want to make sure that your Thread Analyzer clients uh, can talk to the Thread Analyzer server on TCP port 80. From here, we'll go ahead and power up the system and then open up a console. And once the system's booted, we'll go ahead and log in as the default user and password. You can reference the user guide or the install guide for this information. And then what we'll want to do is we'll want to go ahead and assign a static IP address to the Threat Analyzer server. And to do that, we'll want to go in, since we're running CentOS on this particular Threat Analyzer um, appliance, we we'll want to go into Etsy sysconfig uh, and edit uh, the interface file. So that'll be, in this particular case, interface ETH0. We'll enter in the appropriate parameters for static IP assignment, assign the IP address, the net mask, and our default gateway. And then we'll go ahead and save that file. And now we'll want to restart the network services. Once the network services have been restarted,
we'll want to go ahead and make sure that our IP address assignment uh, is effective. As you can see here, ETH0 now has the appropriate IP address. We'll want to check for our default gateway settings. And we can see here that our default gateway has been applied. Now we can go ahead and check and make sure we're in Root's home directory. And inside of there, you'll see a script called ta underscore change underscore ip dot sh. You'll want to go ahead and execute that. And log out. This concludes our session on Configuring Threat Analyzer 6 Virtual Appliance Part 1.